All right, well, summer just right around the corner. The temperatures this weekend will tell you that. We've been seeing alarming headlines, though, lately that say chemicals in sunscreen are being absorbed into the human body at levels that could potentially be toxic. A lot of key words there. Potentially is one of the big words there. We wanted to bring in a local dermatologist, Dustin Portella from the Treasure Valley Skin Care Center. Talk about what does what this all means, because there's still a lot out there that we don't know, and I think that's the emphasis. This is a very small study that the FDA did. Yeah, it's not. It was a small study, and it wasn't surprising to see that some of these chemicals are getting into the bloodstream. The FDA has been overhauling sunscreen regulations for a few years. So now the next step is to determine if the presence of these chemicals in the bloodstream confer any risk for toxicity or cancer. And in the 40 years plus that these have been on the market, there's no reported cases of toxicity or cancer from sunscreen use. And I know when things go wild on social media, it gets out there, whether it's vaccines or whatever, but we have been using them for 40 years. We have seen an increase in skin cancer over the years, but we're being told to use sunscreens to avoid those kind of things. We still need a lot more study. Absolutely. This opens the door for more study to determine if there is actually a risk based on the presence of these uh, chemicals in the bloodstream. What we do know is that the World Health Organization has classified UV light as a class one carcinogen. Mm -hmm. And we know that, sun, that sunscreen protects us from skin cancer, which is on the rise in Idaho and throughout the United States. What kind of stuff are we talking about? This is the, the chemical sunscreen, the stuff you rub on your skin, right? And, and what, what does that involve? The, the most common sunscreens out there are chemical blocking sunscreens. The ingredients that they studied here are things like avobenzone and oxybenzone. They absorb the heat energy or the light energy from the sun and turn it into heat as a way to protect your skin. There is a good alternative if you're concerned about the chemical sunscreens and those are going to be physical sunscreens where the main ingredient is titanium or zinc and they take that sunlight and reflect it away from the body. And the study that is being um, distributed on social media right now didn't study those um, ingredients. Okay. Well, you say names like titanium and zinc. That could be. Those seem kind of daunting when it comes to what you're rubbing on your skin. Should we not be worried about those? No, we shouldn't be worried about those. Again, they've been in use for a long time. Many people are taking zinc supplements for the common cold, and these are present in foods and things as well. And again, no reported cases of toxicity or cancer from their use. Okay, so just another, another reason to kind of wait and see on this one, but you're not saying to get rid of sunscreen altogether. No, and it's important to note that the study authors, mm -hmm. that they did not recommend the stopping to use sunscreen. If you're still concerned, there's additional options where right. patients can use wide-brimmed hats, rash guard shirts, long sleeve shirts, and pants, and those are great. You don't have to reapply them if you're going to be out for several hours. Okay, well, that's good information. Again, it's a small study. We're waiting on more tests to be done, but for the most part, do not eliminate sunscreen. Exactly. And if you, diet. if you still have questions, talk to a board-certified dermatologist to develop a you know, sun protection plan that works for you. All right, Dustin, thank you very much for coming in. We thank appreciate you. it. We'll be right